Hi, welcome to Lumi. In today's video, we will learn how to bound the error when we are dealing with alternating series. First, we recall what the alternating series test is. When we're dealing with an alternating series of the form series of minus one to the n times bn, and this sequence bn satisfies the following three conditions, one, bn is always positive, the sequence bn is decreasing and it converges to zero, then the alternating series is convergent. Throughout this video, we will assume that we work with alternating series satisfying the conditions of the alternating series test. Given such alternating series, we can approximate it by its partial sum. Remember that the partial sum is just a truncation of the series. In this case, we go from k to n of minus 1 to the k times bk. We denote this partial sum by Sn. The error when we use this approximation is defined as Rn and it is equal to the value of the series minus Sn in absolute values. The interesting part about working with alternating series is that we can bound the error. Indeed, the error Rn is less than or equal to Bn plus one. This is very interesting because if we want to approximate the exact value of the series with its partial sums, we can control the error we are making by finding a sufficiently large value of n such that Bn plus one is as small as we want. We will see how this works in action in a moment. Here we have our first example. We must find the sum of the series from zero to infinity of minus one to the n divided by n factorial correct to three decimal places. It is not hard to see that this series converges. Indeed, Using the alternating series test, we can check this. Bn is equal to one divided by n factorial. It is clear that Bn is positive. Moreover, this sequence is easily seen to be decreasing and the limit as n approaches infinity of Bn is equal to zero. Therefore, by the alternating series test, our alternating series converges. Now, our goal is to approximate its exact value by the partial sum. Rn represents the error, and it is bounded above by Bn plus one. Bn plus one is one divided by n plus one factorial. We want Bn plus one to be small enough so that our approximation has the accuracy we desire. To do that, we can manually compute b1, b2, b3, b4, b5, b6, b7, etc. until b n plus one is small enough. Here we present you b6 and b7. b6 is one divided by six factorial. This is approximately 0 0.0013. b7 is one divided by seven factorial which is approximately 0.00019. Notice that B7 works for our case, but not B6. Therefore, if we choose N equals to six, we can approximate our series by the partial sum S6. S6 is approximately 0.36 a056. This approximation has an error less than 0 0.0002. As you can see, this is correct to three decimal places. In this example, we are given the series from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n divided by n cubed. 
we must find the exact value of the sum with an error less than 0 0.001. The alternating series test gives us the convergence of our series. Indeed, Bn is 1 divided by n cubed. Bn is clearly positive and it is a decreasing sequence. Its limit is clearly equal to zero. Remember our goal. We want to approximate the exact value of the series by an error less than or equal to 0 0.001. To do that, we use that Rn, the error, is bounded above by Pn plus one. This is equal to one divided by n plus one cubed. So it is enough to find the value of n such that Bn plus one is less than or equal to 0 0.001. Now everything reduces to solving an inequality. You can follow the steps and convince yourself that it is enough that n is above nine. Therefore, if we choose n to be equal to nine, we can approximate our alternating series test by S9. The value of S9 is approximately minus 0 0.902. The error is less than 0 0.001. In summary, today we analyzed alternating series that satisfy the alternating series test. We approximated such alternating series using the partial sums. We learned how to find an upper bound to the error made when we use this approximation. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. Stay tuned and see you next time.